There are many products available for the best extra virgin olive oil to choose from, each with different features, benefits, and prices. To help you make an informed decision, I've done extensive research, read tons of reviews, and compiled a list of the best extra virgin olive oil from reputed brands. After much research, I found these products very helpful for people like you. If you want to know the price and other information, don't forget to check my details. So without further delay let's jump into the video. Number 1. California Olive Ranch Extra Virgin Olive Oil As someone who goes through a lot of olive oil on a daily basis, the bottle you're most likely to see on my counter at any given time is California Olive Ranch. It's affordable enough that I don't feel guilty using a decent amount for shallow frying, and mellow enough that it can take the backseat in marinades. But don't just take it from me. Many of our experts told me it is their go-to as well. Anna Hazel, senior editor at Epicurious and cookbook author, calls it a mild olive oil that is still pleasant tasting. She uses it for frying, baking, and drizzling, noting that she's never had a bad bottle. This is because California Olive Ranch is one of the few bigger producers that always notes that harvest date. Nick Coleman, olive oil expert, educator, and co-founder of the olive oil subscription service Grove and Vine, says, it has a light to medium body, is a little buttery and viscous in the mouth, and isn't too assertive. Plus, it's at a price point you can really cook with he adds. That's certainly true for Matt Highland, co-founder of New York's Pizza Loves Emily. He says it works just as well in a dressing as it does drizzle on top of a sizzling pie straight from the oven. Number 2. Iliata Extra Virgin Olive Oil I recently picked up a tin of Iliata at a specialty food store in my neighborhood. Though Jenkins calls it less assertive than the distinctly flavorful oils she prefers for finishing like the Piana Grillo listed below. I found it to have slightly more peppery notes than California Olive Ranch. While that bite disappeared when cooking with more aggressive flavors like onions and garlic, it lingered on grilled bread and roasted potatoes. Still, it's mild and smooth, Jenkins says. You don't want to use a fine Italian estate bottle of olive oil for cooking any more than you would use up Chateau Lafite Rothschild to make beef for Gigman, she says. I go through a lot of olive oil, so buying in bulk allows me to shop less often, and the shape fits compactly in my skinny pantry cabinet. One note, it's not easy to pour this oil directly from the hole in the flat top of the container, which creates an unsteady stream that drips down the side. You'll want to decant into a separate squeeze bottle or glass bottle with a slim spout. This is the one I've been using for years. Number 3. Cabram Estate Extra Virgin Olive Oil Highland and Lycopolis both say Cabram Estate makes a delicious olive oil. Because of the price point, it would be well suited as an oil for dipping or for dressings, both of which would benefit from something you can use relatively liberally, but that is distinctly tasty in its raw form, it's buttery and grassy at the same time, which is a combo you don't usually get says Highland. It's complex but also acigoing. Get a nice bread, dip it, add some Malden salt, and eat that for dinner. Lycopolis points out that the taste can vary slightly from year to year but that the California blend is typically well-balanced, with lots of green fruity notes on the front of the palate and peppery notes on the finish. The company also produces a few varieties of less expensive extra virgin olive oil, right around the price point of California Olive Ranch, that are all a bit mellower in taste. The classic end between robust and mild is another bottle I buy with some regularity for everyday cooking. I find that it hits a similar sweet spot, subtle, especially when cooked, but flavorful enough that a raw drizzle over, say, roasted vegetables, still gives you some flavor. Number 4. Kirkland Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil I'll note up top that this pick comes with two characteristics that Jenkins and Lycopolis deem undesirable. It's packaged in a plastic container, though, granted, a darkly shaded one, and it contains olive oil pressed from olives across the Mediterranean. But don't laugh Danielle Oren, author of Food You Love But Different told us when she mentioned it as one of her favorites. I go through a lot of Evu. A quick Google search backs up her claim. It's well reviewed across the internet especially compared to other olive oils in the same price range. It's definitely a light-flavored olive oil and balanced not overpowering or too bitter, says Oren. I might not use it straight for dipping bread, but I make really punchy salad dressings, and it totally blends into the background. I also make a chili oil where you pour hot oil over chili flakes and scallions, and it sizzles up. Plus, at about a quarter for an ounce, it's the best value buy on this list. Number 5. Piana Grillo Farm Extra Virgin Olive Oil While I go through cooking olive oil with abandon, I have to have a bottle of the finishing kind on hand at all times, too. This is, without question, my favorite one I have ever tried. It tastes a bit different year to year, depending on the given climate and harvest time, but according to Italian food importer Beatrice Uggi, 
there is one constant, because of the soil, it always has the flavor of green tomatoes, Uggy likes using it to prepare seafood, but a fruity olive oil can enhance the flavors of everything from white meats, to cakes to vegetable dishes, making the last sweeter and more caramelized, Piana Grillo is also one of the olive oils that Jenkins will drizzle on almost anything, it has a distinctive fruitiness, but it also has a piquant kick in the back of the throat, which indicates a high level of antioxidants.